Now, for two years, Libya has enjoyed a period of relative calm, but peace was destroyed on Saturday when clashes erupted between the backers of the rival governments. At least about 23 people have been killed in Tripoli, the capital of Libya, and about 140 others have been injured. The fight for power in Libya has pitted the internationally recognized government, headed by Abdul Hamid al dabiba against his rival, Fatih Bashagha, who's, a, who's approved by parliament in the country's east. Now, on Saturday, the forces aligned with Bashagha tried to take territory in Tripoli from several directions, which led to the clashes. Now, Tripoli's municipal council members have also now called for calm. تتوجه مؤسسات المجتمع المدني الطرابلسي للجميع للهدوء والتهدئة ونذكرهم بحرمة سفك الدماء وترويع الآمنين وأن الملاحقة القانونية والجنائية ستطال كل من كان سببا فيما آلت إليه الأوضاع بطرابلس. There are reports of fighting and explosions in several areas of the capital. Black smoke was seen rising across the city, and one of the fatalities reported was that of Mustafa Baraka, a comedian who is known for his social media videos, mocking militias and corruption in the country. An emergency service spokesperson said that Baraka had died after he was shot in the chest. Six hospitals were hit, and ambulances were unable to reach areas affected by the clashes. Now, the Bieber's government is challenged by his rival Government led by former Interior Minister Fatih Bashaga. Bashaga was appointed in the month of February by the parliament, which was elected in 2014, and is based in the eastern city of Tobruk. But he's been unable to impose his authority in Tripoli. But the Bieber has insisted on handing power to an elected government and has accused Bashaga of carrying out his threats to seize Tripoli by force if needed. <laughs> Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.